Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Let's see what in the name of source is going on here. So there is someone living in fear of something that they did. Someone went and collected donations in order to bring an ending to a temperance energy and a family. Um, so this is someone that is either salty, bitter, angry, or something of that nature. There is some type of secret that someone or a group of people do not want being out, but I don't even think they realize that the secret is already out. Um, so I don't know what it is they're blocking. Um, so there is some type of wish fulfillment that someone is supposed to be receiving a feminine energy, a masculine energy. It does not matter. There is some type of abundance that's supposed to be coming to you. Also, what I am getting is that there is a cult sense in here where these people are trapped in something that they cannot get out of. Um, so over the years, maybe decades and things like that, they have been recruiting people into their cult. You may be someone that they are not able to recruit. And this is because you are showing up here as the star C, which means that you were placed amongst these people to expose them. And they didn't realize that your initial responsibility or purpose amongst these people were to free them, but they may have rejected you because you illuminated things within them that they felt uncomfortable to face. So you made them feel insecure about themselves. So they made a their mission to come up against you and take you down. So this is what's going on with this whole matter. So there is a masculine energy that accepted donations or goes around accepting donations. There is one that goes around paying people as well to cause other people endings and these are light workers that he is trying to bring to an end this is someone that takes pleasure in doing these types of things because this is someone that is broken as can be this is someone that is just hopeless they don't realize that every time they accept a donation every time they make a payment they are just making things worse for themselves there is someone in here that was hired to monitor you to cause you stagnations in life to cause you endings and things like that and this is someone in the future that is going to need your help getting out of this very coat that they are working to draw you in and trap you in. Some of these people, a lot of these people are going to be needing your help um, coming up soon to help liberate them. This was your whole purpose within these people, amongst these people, why the Most High may have placed you amongst this group was to liberate them, but they didn't realize that. This is like people being stuck in something, trapped, uh, not realizing that they are trapped. They're unhappy. They don't realize why they are unhappy, but it is because of the life that they are living. They are unfulfilled in life. They, they are indulging in low vibrational activities and things of that nature. And then here you come by Miss Goody Two Shoe, Mr. Goody Two Shoe, and you are out here free as can be. You think for yourself, you're not buying that to anyone and never will be. And it pisses these people off. They don't know why they don't like you. It's just that they don't like you. They don't have any good reason. One of them decides that they don't like you and the rest of them follow along because this is monkey see, monkey do. There is a leader in this cult. The leader of this cult is extremely intimidated by you. This is a masculine energy and there is a feminine energy that works below, uh, below him as well. But this man is extremely intimidated by you because you are the one person he was not able to uh, um, turn, to flip, to convert, none of the, none of the above. Um, what do they call, I, I cannot get the word off my tongue right now. It's like it's at the tip of my tongue, but I cannot get it out. Give me a second. Oh, what is the word? It's like they were trying to change you to become low vibrational but it's not your purpose in life you are like some incarnate being right you are like a, a god in flesh so you are the light among the dark you are the light in the darkness right you bring hope to people you bring joy newness life um freedom liberation things of that nature so the very thing that you the the, the very thing that they are trying to force you into, you incarnated to dismantle those types of things. So your purpose or one of your purposes has to do with you dismantling coats, covings, toxic collaborations, toxic groups uh, with, with evil mentality and things like that. And let's not forget that we are fighting a battle against principalities, against entities. 
So we, at the end of the day, still need to do our best to see the people that are suffering, even, even though they don't realize that they are suffering at the end of the day, right? So this is what's going on. These people are being controlled by entities and they don't realize it. So they think that you are the enemy, even though you are there to help them see things a different way, see things from a higher perspective and to want better. Um, this is something like you are working for a company, but within that company, there is another situation going on, a dark situation going on, right? And you are there to help these people, but because they are so long gone and they have become comfortable with the things that they indulge in, they have been so accustomed and grown into this lifestyle that they don't see anything wrong with it. So when you try to speak the truth, try to speak sense into them, they automatically get pissed off because you are speaking against their lifestyle. They think that you are attacking them when you really are not. You are trying to help them, but they don't see it that way. It'll take a while. A lot of these people are carrying out actions against you that is just leading them to a dead end, leading them to misery and endings, the very endings that they were intending for you. These people are absolutely set on trapping you in some things. There is a plan to have you uh, uh, mentally conflicted, making the wrong decisions. They're trying to force you to join their cult, to join their organization, but it's not going to happen. This is not how it's meant to be. The problem here is that these people do not have the sight, the, the secret sight. They don't have, have any type of spiritual gifts. These are just people that manipulate behind the scenes to get things to go into their favor. But you, the light worker, the star see, you are the one with the spiritual gifts. So you are the one that knows the future. You are actually in control of this whole scenario, this storyline, this plot line. You are in control. You decide how things are going to end. And judgment has already been called. The ending is already coming. It's already here. So these people may be empty amping up their tactics, right, to make you feel uncomfortable, to make you feel like you are about to be uh, in distress and things like that, you are absolutely okay. Focus on the most high, continue to do your job and things like that, you will be just a-okay. There is a masculine in here that they are trying to cause an ending to, but it's not going to happen. The universe wants you to know that you are protected. You have a temperance uh, energy angel around you that is protecting you. You actually have a few energies around you, uh, benevolent energies around you that are protecting you. So you are just a okay. You are not going to be homeless. You're not going to be living in poverty. You have some abundance coming your way. Your finances may not be where they are right now, but you have abundance coming your way. The very thing these people were trying to take from you is the very thing you are going to have and get a hold of, right? So you showing up here initially as the queen of wands means that you are in battle mode. You are in a war. These people won the battle, but you are going to win the war. So you are fighting a war. This is why you're showing up here as the queen of wands, right? You are determined. You're standing up for yourself. You're not going to be pushed around. People are not going to tell you what to do. People are not going to force you in something that you are not meant to be in. So right now, you are a soldier. Think of yourself that way, a, a, a colonel, a sergeant, a leader of an of a army, but your army is a spiritual army from the light side, and they are behind you, full force, ready to, ready to take action, ready for war. Whatever it is this group wants to bring, they are ready for it. As you can see, you have wish fulfillment ahead of you, so do not worry. Things are just a little bit stagnant right now, but that is okay. This is because one thing has to come to an end for you so that a new thing can begin. And the universe is in a way testing you to see how much you trust them. And they know you're going to succeed on your purpose, your soul journey, your, your contract. You are going to fulfill your contract because you've made it so much far than people even intended. Your ancestors are celebrating you. I just heard that in my head. Your ancestors are absolutely celebrating you. I sees a lot of smiles and stuff going on. So you are doing marvelous. They want you to know that they are around you. You are not alone, okay? There is something that is being looked at 
about a betrayal that a queen of pentacles did and this group is now aware of it and they are fighting amongst themselves so this woman may have told a lie painted some type of picture um so there the truth has been revealed and these people are fighting amongst themselves and this is something they've been trying to hide for a long time it's like it's kind of like you know each person has some type of ending they are experiencing behind the scenes maybe dad passed away a child is sick someone has cancer someone's in a car accident but they are trying to hide all of this and still present themselves to be okay but they're not okay it's chaos behind the scenes is what i'm hearing these people are experiencing endings yet they are so far gone mentally and emotionally, they are still focused on bringing you an ending, even though it's not going to happen. These people are intimidated because you are someone extremely confident within yourself. You trust the most high. You're someone that's very lively, positive, and they hate that positivity about you. But that's the very thing that makes you even better, right? So keep that positive energy about yourself. You're not someone out here that pulls tricks to get anything you want. You don't have to lie, steal, or anything of that sort to get what it is that you want because what it is that you need, the universe provides for you. So keep on fighting the good fight and keep moving forward. You have a abundance coming your way because the truth has been revealed people are seeing you for exactly who you are it's like people going out of their way to create enemies for you but then they draw the enemies to you and then the enemies fall in love with you so it's like thank you it's like you don't know what to say at the end of the day but you have to thank your thank the very people that are going out of their way to bring you bring you endings and thank them because they are helping you create a soul tribe thank you enemies right let's think let's take a moment to thank our enemies for working on our behalf because you know as much effort as they put in to cause us endings they don't have any spiritual gifts so they cannot see the future they don't realize that in a sense they are helping you right there's a masculine in here that has been hired to cause you an ending this person may not realize that you are their liberator you're like their avenging angel this person was supposed to work with you initially to bring an end to this, but this person is trapped in this coat clothing, whatever we want to call it, this institution. It's like they don't see any way out. So they believe that if they keep doing what it is, they're handler is asking them to do they are eventually going to work their themselves out of this scenario but that is not how that goes um it's like the more you do to enable these people the more you do what they what it is they're asking you the farther back you are falling from getting out of this code so you are working against yourself at the end of the day is what i'm hearing um so anyways as you can see you're showing up here as the star c uh earth angel crystal child just a beautiful energy. You are blessed. You are a visionary. You are gifted. Have a lot of spiritual gifts and things like that. Someone extremely nurturing. The fact that the two of wands is out here and the star seed that lets me know you are someone extremely benevolent in spirit. Very, very nurturing, kind. Lots and lots of love in your heart. You probably have enough love in your heart to create universes uh, upon universes, right? So you are going to be just a okay. Now I'm going to be honest with you. There is some type of emotional distress you're going to be feeling because there is some type of hard decision that is coming up you're going to have to face and you may have to leave one thing behind to take up another right um but spirit wants you to stay calm right let them guide you through this process do not overthink anything you're not really losing anything you are gaining more right there is some type of effort in here to to manipulate you, they want you to feel confused, conflicted, not knowing which way to go, but you're going to be just a-okay. You already know the truth about the situation, which way to go, which way to avoid. So just stay calm, you know, keep control of yourself, stay, stay happy, keep your emotions under control like you've been doing, and keep on going on with your life, okay? These people want to give you some type of uh, offer offer that is just not fruitful it's not going to lead into anywhere and if you accept that offer initially it's going to seem blissful joyful and things like that it's going to seem like it's the truth but it's not it's, it's something that is meant to keep you trapped and bounded to the devil bounded to the workers of iniquities okay so do not accept anything from these people you are meant to prosper in life 
yeah, someone may have wanted initially to come on and talk to you, cause you some type of heartache, but I guess they've changed their mind because they know you know the truth. They may have wanted to come in and cause you some type of illusion. They don't want you speaking out as well. They're trying to cause you some type of ending. They want to shut you up, but it's not happening. You are standing your ground, which is why we have this Queen of Swords out here. Stand your ground, absolutely. Do not feel like you are by yourself. You are not by yourself. You have your angels, okay? watching you yeah there is some type of financial strain you are in as well and these people want to keep you within that financial strain they want you to be so desperate that you will meet them but that's never going to happen there's a masculine in here as well you may be familiar with that is praying that you will come back to them and because you're living in like or something that's never going to happen I just said there's a masculine and then a masculine from your past. They did the six of cups appears on the bottom. My goodness. There's a masculine from your past that is in cahoots with this with these people working on their behalf. Uh, so just know that anyone that comes from your past, do not do not accept any type of friendship, connection, or nothing of the sort from them. As you can see, you're coming out of this energy and stepping into your abundance because you are someone that is naturally, spiritually abundant. So this is your future. You don't need anything from a cult, a coven, a devil energy, whatever. Let them keep trying. They'll never, never break you. Um, it's just not meant to be that way. As you can see, there is a temperance energy in here that is financially stable. These people are fighting with this masculine to cause you some type of heartache. Heartache. They want, they want this masculine to leave you out in the cold, right? They, you may work for this person. You may be in a relationship with this person. You may go to school, church, or something with this person. But you have some type of connection to someone. And this group is fighting with him so that he can leave you out in the cold and cause you some type of ending, some type of financial loss and things like that because you're speaking up against these people. This masculine is pulling out his sword, so he's standing ground against them, right? He's speaking his truth. He's not really paying attention to them. He knows exactly what it is they've been doing and what it is they are trying to do to you. This may be like your protector in flesh. So your ancestors may have sent a protector in your life ahead of time because they knew what was going to be going on so this is like your guardian angel protecting you but he is in flesh he may not say anything to you because he maybe doesn't want to make you feel uncomfortable make you feel alarmed or anything of the nature i told you honey you have abundance your way the universe has cleared your path there is absolutely nothing to worry about you're someone very pure or star seed you are blessed and you shall remain blessed this is your read thank you for watching goodbye for now